AEGL stands for Acute Exposure Guideline Level. An AEGL indicates the concentration of a chemical in air, above which specific categories of health effects could begin to occur in an unprotected civilian population. AEGLs are expressed as the concentration of a chemical an individual is exposed to over a given period of time. They represent threshold exposure limits for the general public and are applicable to one-time emergency exposure periods, ranging from 10 minutes to 8 hours. AEGLs are used by federal and state agencies to help develop emergency preparedness plans and to put priorities on emergency or terrorist attack. Unlike other toxicity values for emergency response, AEGLs are established for multiple exposure durations and effects levels. When appropriate, AEGL values are developed for five exposure periods, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 4 hours, and 8 hours, and are distinguished by varying degrees of severity of toxic effects. AEGLs include three chemical-specific effect levels for specified time durations that describe the general range of toxic effects caused by a chemical. Airborne concentrations below the AEGL-1 value represent exposure levels that can produce mild and progressively increasing effects that are transient and not disabling. With increasing airborne concentrations above each AEGL, there is a progressive increase in the likelihood of occurrence and severity of chemical-specific effects, described for each corresponding AEGL. The AEGL-1 value is considered by the National Advisory Committee convened by the EPA and the National Research Council to be the lowest observed effect level that could be experienced without danger to the public, and that includes vulnerable populations such as the elderly and children. For concentration levels above AEGL-1 but below AEGL-2, there may be some discomfort, odor, irritation, but effects, if any, are not impairing and only temporary. For concentrations less than AEGL-3 but above concentration levels of AEGL-2, effects become more significant and may impair ability to escape, be long-lasting or permanent. For concentrations greater than AEGL-3, there is a potential for increasingly severe effects and possible death without treatment. Let's look at GB. Note that as the time period increases, the value of the concentration gets lower. With longer exposure times, it takes a lower concentration of the agent over time to produce a similar health effect as a short exposure with a higher concentration. If we look at cumulative exposure, or total amount, the concentration times time, or CT, we see that as exposure time increases, it takes more of the GB to produce a given effect than it does at shorter exposure durations. This shows that the concentration times time relationship is a constant. In addition, the body is detoxifying the nerve agent over time. Next, consider HD. Like GB, the AEGLs decrease as length of exposure increases. However, the cumulative exposure curves remain fairly constant over time because the time-scaling relationship for HD differs exponentially from that of GB. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has published Airborne Exposure Limits, or AELs, in the Federal Register for Interim Exposure Limits for HD for workers and the general population. Exposures for these AELs range from 15 minutes to 8 hours for the worker population and is 12 hours for the general population. The CDC also recommends a 30-minute immediately dangerous to life and health concentration. 